Uh, for the Somebody Sailors Junior 100 cc Yamaha hard class. All right, so they've got the start. Drysdale up the front. Made it through. And looks like Cranston's come through there into the second spot. I think they've all made it through there. Drysdale so comfortable. He's not even blocking into that first uh, hairpin there. Obviously quite rare not to, you know, defend your line on that first lap. I've not There's seen something like that before. He's really showing how comfortable he is. But Cranston's going with him, is he? Isn't he's he? not letting him go. He's going to have to stick there, though. We really might see uh, Dylan Drysdale getting put under a bit of pressure. I do um, I yeah. rate Cranston's chances here. And look, the 15 of Caleb Nato just there. Oh, Drysdale drops the wheel. What a real what a tight battle going on there. So after the first lap, it's Dylan Drysdale, Jabba Cranston, Caleb Nato, Liam Lawson. Hey, Liam Lawson's got a bit of a gap now to, to the front two, so he's going to obviously put his head down and try to catch them. Caleb Nato looking strong. Now these guys have got to be smart again. They don't want to, they don't want to fight and get caught back in that second group. Battle so, there. So remember that the finishing position of this race start. That's where you start the final. The all important final. And it looks like Drysdale's just established a small margin over Jacob Cranston. We'll see if Nato can uh, can get the nose down Cranston and uh, pull Drysdale back in. Those front three separating, got those two there. Is that Liam Lawson looking strong? Coming back through the field. Do you reckon starting three here has an advantage Look, over starting I was going to ask you that same question. You saw it with uh, with Cranston in that in that start. Do you do you sit in third? Do you just uh, take that one on the chin and um, know that you've got on the back that you're starting on the inside for the final? It's a yes. real tough one because you, you <laughs> it goes against any racer's instinct to uh, to try and fight for a position. And it, at least he knows, you know, there's a big gap back to four. So even if he does let him go by, but hey, it, it is exactly. a gamble, you know. It is a gamble. They're driving quite smart now, not fighting. Look at Drysdale. He hasn't, hasn't looked behind, head down. He's just focused on where he's going. That's forward. Exactly right. He'll be listening to everything that Kelly's told him. And he'll just be replaying through his head right now. Just looking so, so here strong there. So the order now, with eight laps to go, Drysdale, Cranston, Nato, Liam Lawson, Polishek in the fifth spot. Matty Stewart's come up to sixth. Uh, That's a good running for Matty Stewart. And oh, Nato. Oh, oh no. What's he done? Is he, did he hit the curb? And, and spit a chain. That is heartbreak for Nato. We'll start rare field for the final. It's going to be yeah, tough for him. And that Poor guy, he's so strong. He's looking good, you know. He was a little slower on that last lap. But he is he is looking dejected. I'm a little bit discombobulated as to what happened there. Yeah. So seven laps to go now. Fastest lap for Dylan Drysdale that lap. Two tenths clear of J Jacob. The two ends in. Liam Lawson, personal best on that last lap, but he's still three tenths away from Cranston. And another two tenths away from Dylan Drysdale. So it's the two local boys in front. Dominating. Absolutely dominating. Home track advantage, you'd say? Or? I absolutely well, think ab so here. Yeah. I mean, Drysdale's been in form recently, but I've, I've not seen him drive this well. Because it is a long technical lap, isn't it? Oh, hugely, hugely technical and quite physical. You know, um, Jacob Cranston, a bit bigger than, uh, than Drysdale, but because he's just so calm and settled in the car, it makes it a lot easier for him. Getting thrown around, he doesn't have to work the wheel. Just elegant. 
just looks ravish in that car. So we've got a good battle there, just behind Matty Stewart, there's, there's four of them. So we've got Sivan Naidu, sorry if I uh, <laughs> pronounced that wrong. Uh, Brendan Jury, Ryan Jury, obviously two brothers there, and... Hopefully they don't crash into each other. I, I guess they'll be less than ideal. I want to crash with my brother. Drysdale's really just coming into his own at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Um, he's really showing these guys how to do it. Liam Lawson's looking quite strong. Back in the third spot. This is his first year in the junior Yamaha class. That lap pulled out his lead. Another two tenths. Really impressed with Maddie Stewart there back in the uh, in the fifth spot. She's been doing a lot of racing in Australia, I believe. Down polish it down the inside of Lawson for the third spot. Oh, it's tight coming through here. Oh, a bit of rubbing there. Liam Lawson will have to uh, concede that one back into fourth. Maddie Stewart wants a piece of it too. Yeah, if they keep fighting, she's going to catch right up into the back of them. She's looking really Showing good there. speed. She's looking quite strong. Maddie Stewart, personal best in that last one. You can see Lawson He's just turned his head. You know she's coming. He's got to focus and keep his eyes forward. Dylan Drysdale, half a second clear on that last lap. He is just absolutely dominating this class. So the order with two to go. Drysdale, Cranston, Polishek. Lawson, Stewart, Naidu, Brendan Drury, Ryan Drury, Josh Bethune, and Greg Murphy's son, Ronan, in the 10th spot. Just talking to Ronan in the break there, and um, he's been struggling a little bit with the junior Yamaha, running, uh, running in the Rotex class as well. A little bit stronger in that, so he'll be um, looking forward to, to tomorrow as well. The last lap boards out this time for Dylan Drysdale. Tight little bell there for the third spot. Big bit of battle though for the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth position. Oh no. Not running defensive there. 91 right. of the Ryan Jury has just pulled off the inside of the last lap. Yeah, that is heartbreaking. Drysdale has not missed a beat. That is a stellar performance. If you had to beat your house on it, you'd definitely be going with Drysdale. I don't have a house. You wouldn't beat your house on it though, would you? you saw it? No, I just, I just bought my one. Drysdale takes the win very comfortably ahead of Jacob Cranston. 2.7 seconds. Takes the third spot, just ahead of Liam Lawson. Matty Stewart up to fifth, really impressed there. Fastest lap on her last lap, 46.8. So those uh, basically second to fifth, all within about half a tenth. 